Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new deck. It's actually pre-release. It won't be available until the end of March, March 29, 2024, according to Amazon. It's called Wing, Hoof, and Paw, an animal companion oracle cards uh, deck by Angie Solins and Stephanie Roberts, who is the illustrator. It's in a hard case. Uh, magnetic box. There's a few pictures of the cars in the back. Nice envelope like opening. The uh, publisher is US Games and a big big shout out and thank you to US Games for sending this deck out to me uh, early to review. And in the back it says Wing, Hoof and Paw deck and book set. So I'm not going to read all, all that, but um, basically it's going back to our childhood, our invisible friends who, when we had invisible friends as youth, um, is a quick summary. And she's trying to help us to reconnect with our inner child and our quote unquote invisible friends uh, when we were children. And the set includes 44 purple gilded edge oracle cards. Uh, an organza drawstring pouch. So let's open it up. As I mentioned, this is magnet. All right, and very pretty paw. How cute is that little paws? And then inside, if you want more influence over your life, decisions, and circumstances, the animal friends who inhabited your childhood have messages for your journey. Call them back, embrace them. Heart to heart, soul to soul, hang hand to wing hoof and paw and you get a nice yellow or lime green more yellow organza bag as a bonus and it does have a um, ribbon matching color coordinated to help you lift up the guidebook and the cards and we'll take a look at the guidebook more in depth after we look at the cards. The cards are underneath. It was bind and plastic shrink wrap. I un I took the shrink wrap off so I won't have to struggle with it in camera. The bottom we have a bear and a white bunny. How cute is that? All right, so let's put that back in. And over there, here are the backs of the cards. And it looks like they are reversible. And as I read on the box description, the cards are purple gilded. How beautiful. If you are a purple lover, this is an extra bonus touch for you. Cards are laminated. It's quote unquote plasticky. As you can see, there's a sheen, a glare, picking up on the reflection. Flexible, bendable, pliable cardstock, medium, not too thin, not too thick. Comparing it to a Hay House Oracle card, the length is the, the same as a Hay House Oracle card, but the width is a little skinnier. And then comparing it to a traditional plaid back tarot card size, it is, oops, I'm doing the wrong thing here. It is a little, uh, uh, taller and a little wider than the traditional plaid back tarot card size. All right, so that gives you an idea as far as size goes. So let's, ah, oh, beautiful purple gilding. Nice touch. So let's zoom in and take a look. And if you are an animal lover, you may uh, resonate with this deck. Each card is numbered and then it has the name of the animal and then a keyword and the keywords are great uh, from what I can tell and they would work great to clarify your tarot readings or just use the deck as standalone draw for the day or current energies of what you're working on or your situation. All right, so starting out we have card number one, Stoke Innocence. Hedgehog protection. And these are the cutest animals. Seal balance. Springbok enthusiasm. Blue jay resourcefulness. How beautiful is that blue jay? 
goat resilience, octopus, creative problem solving, dog devotion, oh, <laughs> the dog has wings, be soothing, turtle pace over race, deer trust, lemur or lemur, Communicating with ghosts. That's interesting. Very interesting. Cat receptivity. Oh, look at that cat. How cute is that? Polar bear. Powerful allies. Hummingbird. Wonder. Look at how beautiful this hummingbird is. Purple and green. Unicorn. Imagination. Penguin. Adapting. Oh, there's a heart. <laughs> Swan, self-worth, mouse, noticing, fox, discernment, whale, limitless possibility, badger, befriending self, otter, playfulness, rabbit, listening, raven, clarity, Perry dog, affection, grizzly bear, strength, Coyote perspective. Pig luck. Look how cute this pig is. <laughs> Frog purging. Owl dreaming. Squirrel playful preparation. Oh, sitting on a daisy flower. Or is it a sunflower? Maybe a sunflower. Monkey laughter. Reindeer travel, flamingo sass, that's a nice word, sass. Merquette, vigilant awareness, horse freedom, seahorse reflection, giraffe risk, oh look at the little bow on the giraffe, bat rebirth, dragon fierceness, Peacock authenticity. Look how beautiful this peacock is. The wings. Gorgeous. These are really nice illustrations. Elephant communion. And number card number 44. Last card, dolphin pleasure. Here's another look at the bags. And let's take a look at the guidebook. Zoom out a little bit. Covers a little harder. Nice gloss or semi gloss pages. An animal companion oracle. And then a little write up intro by the author. And then about the stack. This is where I skimmed through it, where she said she was trying to reconnect us with the quote unquote the little one within which is our childhood, our inner child of when we were little and we have quote unquote invisible friends and animal companions. So when she created this stack, um, the keywords that it are on each card is um, what she felt her inner child, the animal, um, you know, is associated with the animal from her inner child that she channeled or connected with. So using the deck and then sample layout of a three card uh, spread, past, present, future. And then you get a full color size of the card and then about a page right up. Very nice, nice feel. Pages are nice and thick, as I mentioned, semi-glossy. Very, very nice quality guidebook. Very beautiful color pages of each card. Very nice. Look at this. Once upon a time. So there's a little story in here in the middle of the book. And then they continue on with the animal. Oh, so there's different like poems within the book. Very nice. And then in the back, there's other um, titles 
products that she had put out and then about the author and her picture about the artist all right so that is the guidebook 107 pages very nice larger size guidebook but not too too large all right so let's uh clear the deck and shuffle and pull a card shall we let's see can we get a card message from this deck for the collective message for the collective viewers who are watching this video please uh, what does this animal deck want to say to the collective currently watching a message for the collective okay the giraffe jump right out all right risk hmm let's see what does this risk represent so let's zoom in so you can see it and it's numerically numbered, chronological in numerical order. So very, very easy to look up. I like that. See, I'm not fumbling trying to find the card in the book. Giraffe wrist. It's time to stick your neck out. Okay. This is a moment when you can see things others cannot and also reach them. It's time to take the risk. This isn't a strutting lion moment or a fierce takedown by a wolf this is a gentle reaching into your full capacity allow yourself to be seen to take the risk to dare to fail reach the opportunity is ripe for the picking and giraffe has come to encourage you to fully embody your abilities reaching all the way for what you want even if the outcome you hope for evades your grasp, you will grab onto a new branch, achieve new heights, and gain perspective previously unavailable. Wow. So it's time. It's time to take the risk, whether that risk is starting your own business or jumping into that you know starting that relationship or going for that promotion at work whatever because there's such a variety collective watching this but uh whatever it is message from mr giraffe here is uh go ahead and take a risk reach for it go for it very nice very nice so as usual i will uh Put the link, the links in the description uh, underneath the video for those that resonated with this deck and you're interested in purchasing it or checking it out more, reading more about it. Uh, I will put uh, all the links in the description underneath the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy that. And a big shout out and thank you again to US Games for sending this out early to me to review. And I will catch you all again on the next video. Bye.